This is Fluxo, the world's first lamp where you can move the light in any direction to place it where you really need it. Fluxo is much more than just a pendant lamp. With 300 powerful LEDs, it can illuminate any part of your room in any brightness you want. And its colored up light can create the perfect mood for any situation. With Fluxo, you get unlimited lighting possibilities with just one lamp by simply painting your light in the desired direction. The more light you paint, the brighter it gets. And you don't have to worry about the position of your phone as the app rotates with your movements. The light painted on your phone is always aligned with your lamp. Simply paint and enjoy. You can save your personalized light scenes and switch between them with a simple swipe. Fluxo uses different colored LEDs, so you can choose between warm and cool whites, warm light to relax, cool lights for tasks such as reading, because it helps you concentrate. When you leave the room, Fluxo turns itself off to save your money and the environment. When you enter the room, Fluxo uses presence detection and smart algorithms to predict which light scene is best suited. Creating a new light scene is easy. Just pick a color and start painting your light. Once you are satisfied, save the setting as a new light scene. With Fluxo's colored indirect light, you can create the perfect mood for any situation where you want a touch of color. But Fluxo gives you much more than just beautiful mood lighting. It can easily illuminate even larger rooms. For example, if you're in a hurry and looking for your keys. Get the perfect light for any situation with Fluxo, the world's smartest lamp. I started at Apple, Steve's sister Patty was plugging the chips onto the boards on the coffee table in the living room while she watched the gong show. <laughs> I'm pretty much the person who built um, most of the Macintosh prototypes. There was just no access to technology the way we have it now. 
The Apple One was a watershed event in terms of price and capability and the average person being able to own this computer. The Pine 64 is um, an improvement beyond my wildest expectations. Introducing the Pine 64. The Pine 64 is a fully expandable 64-bit quad-core single board computer with a 1.2 gigahertz 64-bit ARM Cortex CPU two USB ports, an Ethernet port, and a full 4K HDMI output, the Pine 64 has everything you need to build your next project. Purchase the basic unit to run Linux or Android, or add on components to create your own custom computer. We're constantly developing new modules for the Pine 64 platform, such as a five megapixel camera, Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi card, lithium battery, or even an LCD touch panel, just to name a few. The Pine 64 also has two I.O. expansion ports, compatible with many other components, such as Z-Wave, Zigbee, and X10. For the price of a meal, the Pine 64 is a fully-fledged computer. It's versatile, it's modular, and it's uh, more powerful than uh, most of the competition on the market. We at OpenHub are excited about the endless possibilities that the combination of the Pine64 and uh, OpenHub can bring. So having really a board that works well with OpenHub is really a perfect starting point for many, many more users. And it means that smart home technology becomes more easily accessible for everyone. With access to over 1.6 million Android apps on the market today, the Pine 64 really can be your most affordable 64-bit computing platform. Run office apps, watch full 4K videos, stream from apps like Netflix, and play games or more. We're fully compatible with Android Lollipop 5.1, Ubuntu Linux, OpenHab, and more. Be one of the first to join the Pine 64 community. And with your help, we can create more modules and software to bring affordable computing to all. Would we have ever believed we would have this $15 supercomputer? No, I, I wouldn't have believed that. It's a big step just from the Raspberry Pi to the Pine. It's still hard to believe that it's so cheap. Flying on a paper airplane must be so magical. With your help, magical is about to become unfreaking believable. This is Shai, a pilot, an industrial designer, and an inventor. He is a world-known expert in cool stuff that flies. Two years ago, Shai was challenged by his friend to create a smartphone-controlled paper airplane. Thanks to 21,000 backers on Kickstarter, he made it happen. People all over the world are now controlling paper planes from their smartphones with Power Up 3. Shai proudly came back to his friend and his friend said, Wow, that is magical. But you can't put a live streaming camera on a paper airplane. Shai thought for a minute and said, Challenge accepted. Now, after two years of testing and prototyping, meet Shai's new unfreaking believable invention. Power Up FPV. The first ever paper airplane drone with a live streaming camera. Using state-of-the-art technology, Power Up FPV lets you see what your plane sees. To put it in different words, you feel as if you are flying through the air, riding a paper airplane. Yes, Power Up FPV makes your regular paper plane look like a kitty next to a lion, riding a T-Rex. Just take a piece of paper, fold it into a plane, and attach the module. Put your phone in the cardboard viewer, and you're ready to fly. The camera streams live video to an app on your very own smartphone, sitting in the head-mounted goggles. To control your plane, just tilt your head lightly. And there's also a gamepad mode for when you feel like handheld control. Power Up FPV's camera can swivel around. That's how you also get wing view and back view, so you can see this defining moment in your life. Look, it's you flying a Power Up FPV. Shai wanted to create the most immersive real-time experience. That's why he partnered with the good folks at Parrot, world experts in wireless streaming and creators of the AR drone. With their help, Power Up FPV streams live video over Wi-Fi from over 300 feet. To make the experience really smooth, 
PowerUp FPV has a ton of sensors and an onboard computer with real-world autopilot mode, making it nearly uncrashable. <sighs> nearly. PowerUp FPV is ready for production. So if you love flying and want to ride a paper airplane, back PowerUp FPV and help make what was once magical unfreaking believable. Hi, I'm Oscar. And I'm Dave. And we're the founders of Thimble. Thimble is a monthly subscription service that delivers an orange box to your doorstep. Each box contains components and instructions to build a specific kind of device, a fun toy, or something useful. Our learning app has step-by-step -step tutorials to help you build what's inside the kit from scratch. Thimble is for anyone who considers themselves a maker, for kids, it could be for a high school or college student, a young programmer who wants to get into hardware, it could be a parent who may be an engineer who has kids, wants to create that nice bonding experience of creating something from scratch, or it can be for a retired engineer. People want to be creative, but they don't always have the right project ideas, the right components, or even the knowledge to build everything all together. So what we do is we, we bring that to you in one package, basically, so it's convenient for you to get started right from home. So our first kit is a uh, little robot, basically. So it, it's got 16 parts. It's got motors, wheels, a little platform, Wi-Fi module. If you go on our website, we have a companion learning app to take you through how to build the robot. So we have videos and uh, pictures, photos, GIFs, all that kind of thing to guide you through how to learn to solder, how to put, a, put the robot together, how to program it, and how to program an Android and iOS app so that you can um, control the robot from your phone, your tablet, or any other device. I've been coding for many years and uh, I love to create cool things by writing code. So when I discovered Thimble, I got to learn how hardware and software work together and I got to play with Arduino and Raspberry Pi robots. And I think this experience in working with the hardware and software is great for coders and developers of any skill level. I was fortunate enough to meet Oscar and David earlier this year through Megan Smith, White House CTO. They told me about what they were trying to do and, and it really resonated with me because at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Buffalo we're, we're trying to bring 21st century skills like coding and engineering to our members. If people want to learn electronics, they can buy a variety of kits out there. Um, I think that's one of the problems is that people are overwhelmed by the number of kits that are out there and there's nothing really offering a guided path to learn. We've been working on this project for almost a year. We've developed our hardware and our software prototypes. Now all we need is your help to make this project happen. We're finally at a point where we have our prototype kits ready to be manufactured, but there are a few steps that we need to take care of before we get to that point. Sourcing the parts, uh, shipping, fulfillment, I mean there are quite a few things that need to be done and we won't be able to do that without um, the right amount of capital. So we're using a Kickstarter to, to basically make that a reality. For some people this will be the first robot they have ever made and we really hope that this will inspire you to make more things in the future. Our biggest goal is to teach people electronics, get them to a point where they feel confident building their own projects without a thimble kit. I think the day that they're able to do that I think we'll have done our job.